We're uh, investing on the assumption that this year will be a peak year in the economy. So we're looking at 2.8% uh, GDP growth for the year, we're looking at 20% S&P earnings growth. So keep in mind, the last five years, average earnings growth was about 5%. So this is quite a strong year. Um, we can totally see Jay Powell's point in continuing these rate hikes at this point. He's facing a very strong fiscal stimulus. He's facing an economy that's quite robust, a quite robust labor market. So two more rate hikes is certainly in the car. And then at, after that, he's calling for, or his team is calling for three more in 2019, another one in 2020. The market certainly haven't priced that in. Does your portfolio look different investing for peak growth this year at 2.8%? I mean, if Cudlow says 4%, does your portfolio have to change? So I think. You know, certainly you have to be a little bit more cyclically oriented. What's really worked this year has been technology, discretionary, and small cap. The small cap story, I think, is unique because it's isolated from the trade war fears. It's more domestically oriented, tax reform beneficiaries. That, I think, or we think, has legs going into the second half of the year. The other part of the story, which is, you know, technology and discretionary, we think there may be room to round that out with other, you know, sectors that maybe have lagged a little. So we're looking at energy, we're looking at industrials, and we're even looking at financials here, although that's been a rough first half. Um, but, you know, numbers have been very strong and they're looking at even despite the yield curve flattening, they have uh, optimistic outlooks. Moni you mentioned the Federal Reserve. Today there are people calling for the Fed to slow down the reduction of the balance sheet in the next four to six months. Emerging markets getting whacked. China's down big. Yes. If the Fed were to slow down, would that be bullish or bearish for the U.S. equity market? So I think if the Fed slows down, overall we'd get a bullish bump right away. You know, I think ge generally speaking, uh, what they're doing now is removing liquidity from the system. They're tightening financial conditions. Over time, that slows an economy. So for them to slow that process would certainly be bullish from an economic perspective. Um, I do think looking at the differential between what you mentioned, U.S. and China, uh, it's amazing to see the outcome of this trade rhetoric. People are piling into U.S. equities. The dollar has gone up about 7 percent since February. And the Chinese equity market down about 17 percent, the yuan continues to devalue. So it feels like if they are looking at purely, you know, the U.S. flows and the U.S. trajectory, the Fed will remain on track. If they're looking at it from a global perspective, they may have a little bit more concern. But our view on this is that they're probably looking at it from a U.S. perspective here. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.